Hey everybody, Jay Marino here. Welcome back. Playing some more Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition on the Genghis Khan campaigns. So we're going to the Horde Rides West. Sleep in the saddle. Drink the rain. Eat nothing but dried meat, dried milk, and horse blood. Such is the life of a Mongol at war. At night, we are rewarded with fermented yak's milk and the promise of Persian treasures. Driven on by the words of the great Khan, we have crossed miles of the Asian continent at full gallop. Before us lies the vast empire of Persia. The Khwarezm Shah will be given one chance to submit, and then his cities will be pulled down brick by brick. But not all of us head into Persia. Genghis has sent Sobotai Batur of the reindeer people north into Russia. The Russian principalities are disorganized, and Genghis hopes that Sobotai can break them one by one. Then the Horde will rule all of Asia. So are we going to Russia, or are we going to Persia? In the south, the Khwarezm Shah is expecting a gift, but he will find assassins in our trade carts. We must deliver the carts to the Shah quickly before he breaks his alliance with us. In the north, deploy Subutai's horde to conquer Rush. Oh, we're doing both. Subutai must survive. So we have a hero on this map. I'm pretty sure what actually happened was didn't... I think, I think that emissaries were sent to Persia, and then they were executed, and then Genghis Khan was just like, all right, and basically just obliterated this city. There were no assassins involved, I think, but, you know... Some unique gameplay here, I guess. If we've got actual assassins, we can send in in there to kill the Shah. Genghis Khan is restricted to 125. If your assassin, if your assassination attempt fails, the leadership of the Shah will guarantee that the Persians are a much more deadly enemy. The Persians are expecting their gift. If you do not receive it soon, they may eventually declare war on you. Your two armies are divided and will not be able to meet until you reach Samarkand. Interesting. Mongols have gathered to the east near Samarkand and constructed a small camp. Another Mongol army camps to the north, led by Subutai, whose task is to invade Russia. I see. Okay, so we've got the Kipchaks. So there are Cumans on this map, too? Uh, okay, so I should just read this, and then we can look at the, the list of factions. Not far away from Subutai's camp are the lands of the Kipchaks. The Kipchaks are a nomadic people like the Mongols, but are considerably weaker owing to inept leadership. The west of the map is controlled by the... Ru okay, so before I move on, this sounds like go and kill them, like, right away, right? This seems like there's a situation where there isn't a flipping Great Wall of China between us and all the factions, so we might be able to go and wipe someone out quickly. So we should probably focus on that. The west of the map is controlled by the Russians. They could be a serious threat early on, but in the long run, the Russian swordsmen and boyars will stand no choice chance against the Mongols, but where they're powerful rams, however. Okay, so the left is going to be getting hit with rams. We're just going to get a lot of melee units to defend against those. The Shah rules the Persian Empire from Samarkand, a heavily guarded and fortified city to the south. The Persians will defend themselves fiercely, relying above all on their mighty war elephants, mounted archers, and heavy cavalry. It's very likely that they will also produce siege weapons... To defeat the Persians, the Mongols will have to destroy the Shah's palace, which is a wonder, and all of his castles. Okay. Uh, I hate having two bases, but I guess let's get started here. Great Khan. Our assassins are concealed in these trade carts. Once the carts are near the Persian Shah, the assassins will strike. Without their leader, the Persians will fall like grass beneath our hooves. Okay. Well, I noticed there's some boars here, so I guess let's, uh... Let's focus on this. We're in the castle age already. We don't have much stone, though, so we should probably look to that. Uh, I guess let's get a lumber camp here. There's Subutai. I guess we could take this group and maybe go and look for the Kipchaks. They said they're to the west of us, right? Let me just double check. No. No. The, I just see the west of the map is controlled by the Russians. I don't know where the Kipchaks are, so let's just go and scout around for now. And then... I guess let's go ahead and, and pull a boar in, and then we're going to start making... Uh, then we're going to go ahead and start uh, making farms. So let's focus on killing these things first. Yeah, you'll survive. You'll be fine. It's the Lord of Genghis Khan! We are doomed! Oh, I wasn't watching, and I didn't realize we found them. Okay, well, they provided us a mill. Archery range shrine. I don't know what that would be for. They gave us a free market, though, so that's nice. I wonder if we could trade with them. 
Uh, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do next, just keep making workers to put on lumber, and then let's keep looking around. Where's Subutai? We can maybe use him. I noticed we have wolves. Hunting wolf. Interesting. Uh, there's some stone up there. I probably want to head up, head up there, like, as soon as possible. In fact, I'm gonna do exactly that. So go ahead and drop that off here, and then let's grab a mining camp up here for the stone, like, ASAP. Because we want to get castles pretty much on both sides here as, as much as possible. Bears? Go get them, buddy. We probably could have hunted these, but that's fine. I don't need them. Keep making workers. We're good on houses for a while. I guess the question I have is where are they going to come from? Like, where do we want to build our castle? Do we want to build it in this Kipchik base or what? Uh, oh, and I really need to send these guys out to go and perhaps... Um... Attack the... Attack the Shah, right? Okay, so who's... Where's the boar going for? It looks like this guy, so let's just... Run him back. Oh, we got a free skirmisher. That's nice. Okay, you keep looking around. So we have to send these things... Into the actual base. Let's just follow the road. I'm going to assume that that's going to give me what we need. I turn on the timer here, by the way, because people were talking about me needing to do that. Let's go ahead and grab, uh, yeah, sure, bone saw sounds good. And once this is done, we're just going to go ahead and make more farms as time goes on. In fact, we could throw a few extra on farms while we're at it. And then more down here as well. So just more workers. Hey, Let's do the same thing. Just go ahead and make farms up here. Again, just keep following the road. I don't know how I feel about this start. I guess let's just save. I don't know how aggressive the Russians will be. Again, I really want to get castles set up like as soon as possible. The Persians aren't hostile to us right now, though. So let's see if we can kill the Shah, and then we'll figure it out from there. So let's focus on that for now while we continue to just make workers. We come bearing gifts for the Shah. You may enter. Our city of Samarkand is just over that hill. Okay, let's just follow the road. Okay, that's fine. And let's reseed farms and grab heavy plow. I'd love to get wheelbarrow as well. All right, so you all, we just need... Lots and lots of farms. Um. Oh, it's a it's 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 a bear. Hang on, where's uh where are these units? Also, where's Subatai? I think he's just running around for now. Where did it go? Did it just die? Oh, my guy must have killed it. All right, this is not good because I don't know where my hero is. Let's focus on the Shah for now. I have enough to build a castle. Hunting wolf. I, I ran him around to scout, but now I don't know where I left him. Oh, that's not good at all. You can grab some extra hunting, or some, some extra archers. Let's go ahead and grab uh, my castle, like, right down here on the road. To cover us from multiple directions. Let's th throw this here. Oh god, where is he? Oh crap, I feel like I'm going to be falling behind because I, I don't know where I put my hero. Is he up here? I'll have to look for him later. Let's just continue looking for the Shah. Oh, the, he's, he's actually visible to us, so let's get down there. I don't know how long we have to get to him, so let's just get going. There's some sheep up there, that could be good. Okay, let's gold it up. Okay, we're gonna need more lumber for sure. And then I guess let's get a castle set up kind of down here as well. Mm, I don't have enough stone, but I will soon. Where did I put him? He's not in this group, is he? Cavalry archer, cavalry archer, wolves. 
<laughs> oh no. And what have the Mongols sent me? No doubt a bribe begging me not to destroy them. Okay, so I'm just gonna strike in the shark. What is this? Treachery! Now the Persians will be an easier target. We die for Genghis Khan! Okay, cool. I guess. Keep making workers. I need more food production for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these fellows to make another castle because I can afford it. So let's see. They, they're coming from these multiple directions. I think maybe we just go ahead and throw our castle like right here to cover us from multiple directions. That's it. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a lumber camp up here. You can always build more castles later. All right, and guess what? Now we can get mango dye. Looking good. Do we have more gold in this vicinity? There's some right over there. Okay, so I'm feeling relatively safe. I, I'd like to get moving kind of soon. I'd also like to find the Russians, and I'd like to also stop my hero from dying if I knew where he was. Is this him? You know what? You know what? I, I hate to do this, but just go ahead and garrison. I'll put you in the castle. How about that? And of course, this is yep. They went and they attacked the Kipchaks, which is exactly the location that I had hoped they wouldn't attack me. We'll get another castle momentarily once we can afford it. Let's go ahead and get some more mango dye. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna get stables. Multiple stables with mango dye coming out here. Uh, I, I feel like I need to make an effort here to at least save this area, but I guess it's not super important because I got the only thing that this provided were archery ranges, which I didn't necessarily need straight away. I think I just need more food. Which we can do by just making more farms here. Okay, let's do kind of a, a fallback here. Back to our castle. I'm trying to like individually focus fire these things down. Hunting wolf, help me. Once they're in range here, we'll be fine. Oh, super ties back here. I guess go ahead and start attacking and helping us out. And then let's grab uh, university so that we can get murder holes and such. Okay, we lost a lot of stuff, but I think, you know, for now we're okay. I have idle workers just sort of sitting around here. Kind of hard to see them. Okay, next step is I would like to get a castle over here. Hopefully that'll finish in time. And then Subutai, let's just be extra careful with you. And again, I'll garrison you in here. So let's go ahead and start getting Manga Dye, and then I'm going to get Siege Workshops. It'll all be great. Uh, we can grab Thumb Ring. I think we can easily afford that. Now, actually, Lumber is going to be my persistent issue. There's some more gold down here, too. We do have a market, so we can sell for that. Here comes some Rams. I want to go to light cavalry like as soon as possible. Oh, actually, what I can do is just use workers to kill this thing, right? They said beware the Russian rams, so this is, you know, we'll be okay. Okay, repair that, and then get back on here. Oh, they're like putting people in the rams. Good for them. Okay, light cavalry's done. Uh, can I get to Imperial Age? I need a lot more gold. Okay, we're like defending ourselves against Persia here, I guess. Okay, what's next? I think you guys stay back. I'm gonna send workers over here. 
Once you guys are done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and get more gold. Again, gold is kind of our main jam right now. I could start selling food, I suppose. Okay, that was enough to get me there, so let's do it. And then grab trade ca trade cart. I'll just grab another lumber camp kind of further into this wooded area. And then we've got this one up here too. So we're, we're fine on lumber. Subutai is inside the castle, so we should be safe. There he is. Okay, cool. So that's all done. And let's go ahead and increase our gold harvesting. Because that's kind of, that's got to be our main jam right now. And then let's grab murder holes. 100 stone. We're out of stone. We have to look for some more. Okay. And then we should be getting into the Imperial Age here relatively soon. And we can get a lot more upgrades. It looks like they're going to be coming in. Oh, no. We've got our, our castles in, like, the perfect spot for this. So we should be good. We spent a lot of that food very, very quickly. I'm going to continue making workers to put on lumber. There's not much lumber up here, unfortunately, but it still might be worth throwing some, some more units on there and or getting more farms. So let's actually do that. I think we can afford it. Gold is definitely like the, the hot late game commodity. Nah, I'd like one more. That would be good. Okay, cool. I'm feeling pretty good, and I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I think I'm going to set up siege workshops here. Like, way too... I almost have too much on, on gold. 9,800 gold for spies. That's crazy. That's well, a good thing I got those cavalry archers, am I right? Uh, I should get a blacksmith. Okay, I'm in the Imperial Age right now. Fortified wall's not important. Uh, we definitely want siege engineers and chemistry. I'm gonna grab chemistry. Don't chase. I think we want melee units always on defensive stance. There's a way I can change that by default. I should do that. Mm, this has been a good effort so far. And I am. I realize some people think it's silly of me to save so much, but like, look, I don't want to have to replay all this so much. That would be... You know, kind of silly to, to go through and have to replay a ton of this. Simply because I wasn't diligent and, you know, make a silly mistake and lose Subutai or something, you know? It sounds like something I would do, so. <laughs> Let's just play it cool. Okay, Blacksmith, keep it up. Actually, grab Fletching first. And then we can upgrade to Hazars here pretty soon. Obviously, Husbandry, we need a lot of... Um, food to grab elite mango die. Did I have a farm here that didn't get reseeded? Or did it get destroyed? I don't know what happened there, but uh, obviously lumber and and food, wooden food. I call it lumber because of Star or because of Warcraft. That's just habit. But uh, the attacks are relatively minimal at this point. I'd like to point out, so I'm not too scared of whatever's going to happen. Um, let's go ahead and grab... Uh, let's go ahead and grab some siege workshops next. Can I win with a wonder? I should do that. Seems like it would be funny. Uh, okay, so we we want to go... We definitely want Parthian taxic, Tactics and Thumb Ring. Um, we got Chemistry. Siege weapons we want. I mean, there's so many things that I want. It just requires, mostly at this point, it's lumber and food, which should be like our two main jams, again, for the time being. Which I continue to make more workers to put on, on lumber. I can't even upgrade my lumber income if I wanted to at this point. We have no stone income, so there's no point. I suppose what I can do is throw some units, or throw some workers uh, up here if I wanted to. We really, we like, we went straight into like three flipping castles, which is definitely the way to go. Um, I'm gonna go Hazars, and I'm gonna go Husbandry, so now our, our cavalry is gonna be flipping sweet. Uh, I'm gonna grab Drill, because that's obviously super good. Uh, I'll also grab Conscription, just so that we can make units faster from our stable and castle. Uh, spies will be like, it's like that late game cleanup type thing. So, I wonder, like, 
I think maybe let's see if we can like find the Russians first and then we'll go from there. Capped rams. And then we gotta save up for a ton of food. Actually, we could just sell for food, right? Nah, not, not really. Okay, so Megudai don't cost food, so I'm just gonna go ahead and build them from this castle. Don't make me laugh. And then let's also not neglect our blacksmith upgrades, which I tend to do. It's like I could I could get even more farms. I just don't feel great about it. Because eventually we're going to have so much food we're not going to know what to do with it, at which point we would sell it. I feel pretty good with the amount of workers we have in general across the board here. You know, there might be more stone we could look for, but not necessary right now. I could also go Step Lancers. I think we do what we did last time, which is, you know, trebuchets, mangudai, and uh, hazars. And then I guess we could throw in some step lancers and then rams. It's just, why, why do upgrading your rams cost food? I don't understand. Okay. Let's continue upgrading here and here. Honestly, interestingly enough, food is our is our first and foremost ma major holdup. And there actually wasn't a good way to start with food on this one. You just went straight to rams. Not rams. What am I saying? Farms. I got rams on the brain. So obviously we want this. Uh, we obviously want this too, which is going to result in like 2,000 food or something. And buying food is really at a premium, so I don't really feel great about it. We obviously also really need siege engineers. We don't really need it, but it would be really, really helpful. And then, yeah, sure, let's go ballistics as well. The war elephants, I'm wondering if... Maybe it would be worthwhile for the war elephants to get, like, um... Oh, obvi and then we need thumb ring, too. Again, food is really at a premium. We could just sell for food. Again, I just... It's not at a really good rate at this point. Yeah, I mean, I, I did it, but I'm not happy about it. Let's go elite mango die. Did I start capped ram, too? That's a thousand. Uh, considering that's where we're at, let's go ahead and hotkey my castles both on this side and then rally them here. And don't we have some hazars mixed in here? Um, I'm just gonna... I should have been doing this earlier, but we just have to go and find where the Russians are and then see if we can kill them quickly. I don't care about nomads. Um, yeah, let's save our food to get some siege rams and then we're just making more mangu die at this point. And then we can also make trebuchets. And just like that, we spent all of our gold. We found the Russians. They actually don't look that well defended. We just get a couple trebs out to destroy that castle. Um, the Persians haven't attacked us at all. I guess that's understandable, considering they um, were crippled because we killed their leader. And I think that's, that was the whole point of that. Does, like, does, this, does that placement technically count? We're not adjacent to the gold, so I'm going to assume that's going to count in a, in a positive way for me. I see some stuff to hunt back there. Mm. I'm waiting for the Persians to come in with, like, a huge amount of stuff, but my castles are, like, super beefed up at this point, so I'm not too concerned. I'm not sure if I should make, like, should I make pikemen? Or, or, or maybe step lancers would work well against the elephants? Or maybe we could just convert them. I'm not sure if that's kind of the right idea here. All right, we can afford to go siege rams now. I have one trebuchet and then a bunch of mangudai. That's my jam. So I'm gonna hotkey. We can stack these as long as they're on separate hotkeys. It'll make things easier for me to to queue these up. So we just go mangudai and. What I'm gonna do is just move in towards red. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and attack the castle, and then we can worry about their production stuff later. All of you go on. I think we want stand ground for the mangu die. It's kind of strange, but I think that's the way to do it. Let's go back to our blacksmith real quick. Infantry and cavalry. I don't need to upgrade my infantry stuff. Okay. I feel like this enemy has, like, nothing. So I'm really not concerned. 
this one was intimidating to get started at, but like once I once I scouted out red and I realized how little that they had, I'm like, this is gonna be fine. <laughs> like they're just gonna walk in here and get absolutely mowed down. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna in between this mission and the next one, I'll figure out what I need to do to um, to set my default to uh, yeah. See, like the hazards almost aren't even worth it. I don't even need them. They're good to path block, I guess. There we go. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and get rid of their buildings here. We've got to be careful of friendly fire, I suppose. Do I have any... Didn't I build some more trebs? I must not have been able to afford them. Did they just give up? All I did was kill their castle. Uh, all right. Let's go and find all their workers before they rebuild. They, they just resigned. Okay, well, I guess we're going to head down here next. And, I, and the, I mean, again, the war elephants, I might just be able to blast through with Mangudai. I'm not really sure. Okay, so eventually we have to get kind of down to this location. So, like, the bottom area, the Russian area. So, let's go Elite Step Lancers and then Step Lancers and then Hazars. Just sort of run interference for us. And then I guess let's grab some more trebuchets. I didn't even make any capped rams. I guess it couldn't hurt. I just feel a little more comfortable with the trebuchets. They just feel a lot more effective to me, to be honest. But my rams are also super speedy, and it doesn't hurt to have them. So let's just rally everybody down here. So five are my castles, six are my stables, seven are my siege workshops. And that's really the only production structures that I even need as... As the Mongols. This seems... This mission... I, I guess I got kind of psyched out by the last mission. This one has been incredibly easy. Is there actually a way to change... I, I almost kind of like this view better. Just because I can distinctly see where my units are. I don't know what that achievement is, but I'm happy that I've gotten it. I don't know. I'll think on that. Mostly just because my... my faction is orange. It's a little hard to tell sometimes. Now uh, you guys come on down here. Staying on top of my idle peasants. At a certain point, I feel like if I feel like I'm on the route, route, the, the route to win, I'm just going to start deleting my peasants. Just delete them. <laughs> I know that's kind of callous, but I, it, in a way, I think it's it could be the way to go. I've never made any onagers or scorpions. I like the idea of scorpions. I just don't I just don't care. The siege towers are interesting too. I didn't even make a monastery on this one. Again, I feel like I'm getting a little more into the groove. This one was a little daunting just cuz I didn't know what to expect. Okay, four trebuchets and then a bunch of rams. I haven't even loaded any infantry into the rams, but it's not necessary considering they're super speedy. That's kind of the whole point of the Mongols, I guess. So, we need to kill... There's a one... Well, I... That's the wonder. Oh, unless that's the Persian castle. I don't think so, though. That's got... I mean, that's where the Shah was. So, we've got to destroy the wonder, and then he, he's got castles. So, why don't we bust through the gates, and then just... Wait and see what we've got coming at us in terms of elephants. Okay, you Okay, so let's move on up. I just got more units flooding in. I can probably remax this army pretty fast. But the speed at which I can remax is not super important to me. And again, the Persian should be relatively weak considering we killed the Shah, but I don't really know what we're in for. So let's just go ahead and hit the gate. And I, I, I mean, I've got the rams. Is this going to draw them out towards us? I'm not sure. Kill the workers. Always just focus on the workers. Okay, here come the elephants. I don't have any monks. Again, I, I haven't even thought about conversion, but in terms of, like, super heavy units, conversion makes the most sense. 
Okay, those are pretty hard to kill. Come on. Hello? I'm not just going with the rams at this point. Let's get this show on the road. Have I even made a barracks as the Mongols? I mean, why bother, you know? Hey, we got some sheep. Let me in! Okay, unpack these. No more friendly fire, please. I'm just trying to give myself a bit more of an opening, I guess, for the rams at this point. Wow, they have, like, nothing. It's weird, because, like, after last mission, I'm like, I'm not going overboard. And now I'm like, oh, I definitely went overboard. Holy shit. All right, trebuchets, I'm just going to kind of roll you in and have you hit the, um, hit the wonder. And I guess we'll find castles along the way. Rams, I would like you to destroy their, uh, production structures. Though I don't really think that they have much of an army. At this rate. Actually, rams go ahead and attack the town center. Force them to to leave the town center. I'm actually going to put these on defensive stands. Stand ground is nice, I think, for the Mangu die, because you don't want them, like, rolling into a castle or something, but I still think this is fine. I said it before, I'll say it again. I, I didn't feel as confident after the last mission, but, like, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good in general regarding the game. You know, no one's really been giving me much shit. They've just been giving me helpful tips. And I appreciate that. <laughs> I think that means I'm either doing something right or... Well, I think that means I'm doing something right. But even if I wasn't doing something right, I still appreciate the fact that people are willing to give me uh, a lot of tips. Yeah, these elephants are a little spooky, but... Alright. Get rid of these elephants. I assume they train these from the stables, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Capped rams? You guys get in here and go for the trebuchet. Did that elephant just pop out of the black sp No, uh, their elephant is their special unit. I see. Okay, all of you get down here. Focus down the elephants. Cause that's, those are the only units that are going to cause us problems. They're just really beefy. And they do a lot of damage, but they do have to... I mean, they have to get right on top of you, so... Understandably, it's not that much of a problem. Okay, uh, let's, let's unpack here. I mean, if they actually tried to use the elephants to kill my siege weaponry, we might be in trouble, but, uh... So they've got another castle somewhere. Maybe, well... Maybe, like, further down the bottom right. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and hotkey... to, like, here. Let's just rally up a, a billion hazars. I think that, that'll be good enough for me. And, of course, more elite Mangudai. Mangudai are great. I'm going to miss them once we move on to a new sieve. But I guess that's kind of the point of the sieve bonus units. I didn't really feel the same about the throwing axemen, but I also never really faced any actual challenges as the Franks because I was on standard difficulty. So they have, eno they, they have another castle somewhere, maybe like in here? Beijing. I'm not sure. I think we have a few units that made it. Here, let's rally these down. A selection across the map would be really helpful, but I would probably get in the bad habit of using it too much. Uh, we can't actually get through these walls. We have to. Let's just stay in the city. The elephants are coming from this direction, so they must have a castle up there. They've got. They. They have to. S same as usual, though. Their, their units get super tunnel visioned on something, and then they're just like, "Okay, fine." I think it is from down there. You can tell because their units are kind of spilling out from that direction. I'm a camel rider on top of my stuff here. Uh, go ahead. And, yeah, just destroy all their production. I'm. I'm. I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> Kill that one camel rider.
Let's see, Cavalry Archer versus Step Elite Step Lancer. I think I know who's gonna win. Okay, so no more of those uh, scorpions or onagers that were popping out from here. Let's move up. What is this? A monastery? It's technically production. Go ahead and destroy it. You guys chase down that scorpion. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be down here, just because these trees were kind of irritating. I should have maybe could have just killed the trees. I don't actually think that would have gone and made this go any faster, though. Okay, very nice. Let's go for this. Maybe just destroying the walls outright would make this a little bit easier. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. We just have to destroy this gate, and we should be able to just roll down for the win. Again, this was a little intimidating simply because we had two bases, but we had a lot of time, and the fact that you could basically eliminate one of the enemies outright was kind of cool, like right from the beginning. Like, we didn't eliminate them, but they, they could do virtually nothing against us, which I thought was neat. See, this is why, like, upgraded Mangudai, you just kind of run in, you just just single target stuff. I mean, even if we auto-attacked, it would still be really satisfying to watch them just mow everything down, you know? Alright, so they've got to be down here, right? Oh, it's right there. Shadow Looks like they have, like, some, some ornamental broken walls here to make it look... to make it look good. We supply camp? Like, didn't I... Ra I swear I had rallied down a lot more units than this, although it's possible we had lost a lot. They may have another one, too. It's funny. I just completely... I was like, okay, you've got a castle and some units. Uh, we're just going to mow every through everything on the left side of the map. I don't know. I honestly didn't even put much thought into it. It's just how it, just how it went. I don't even care if that elephant gets on top of me right now. I'm just gonna... On top of my trebuchets. And it's not even going for my trebuchets. Okay, kill this. Do they have another one? It's possible they started rebuilding one. Mm, they must have another one or they rebuilt one somewhere. Let's keep going to the right. They may have another one kind of down in this location. Oh no, I think they I think they they sold their stuff. Maybe? Yeah, I think this is indicative that they sold yeah, and then it just takes some time. There's like a lag to it where like you see their workers randomly die and then some of it the, they sell all their production or they just delete it. And then there's like a 10 second delay until they actually resign. The Persian army numbered nearly half a million men, but was beaten by a Mongol army less than half that size. The governors of outlying cities were executed by pouring molten silver into their eyes and throats. The capital city of Samarkand, which was expected to withstand our siege for a full year, fell in five days. Separate mountains were made of the skulls of men, women, children, horses, dogs, and cats. We roamed the streets in wonder at the opulence of the Persians, drinking at their fountains and gorging ourselves on sherbet and tropical fruit. For a man born in a tent, it seemed as if Genghis Khan had torn open the gates to heaven itself. Russia and Mesopotamia were now ours to command. The empire now stretched over 7,000 miles, from the Pacific Ocean to the Black Sea. We were about to enter Europe when tragedy struck. Not tragedy. Cool. Well, I guess on to the next one. The Promise. Next time, heading even further west. See you.